Hey, agent friends. Hey, how's it going? It's Patty coming to you today from my home here in Scottsdale. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that I just wrapped up uh, finalizing a brand new course about generating leads organically using uh, landing pages and uh, creating your own lead magnets and then setting up your entire follow-up, basically the entire funnel. And I wanted to be sure that you know that I have it, but I created it specifically in this case for Lofty. However, I want to be able to create it for other CRMs. So if you are interested, I need to hear from you because I will take the time to create it if I get enough people that tell me, oh, I wish I had the same course for my CRM or website or whatever CRM or system or email tool you're in. So here's the deal. Um, if you're interested, just comment below. Tell me I need the Lofty course or click on the Lofty course. Actually, the Lofty course is down here, but I'm gonna actually supply you a video here of one of the lessons so that you can watch it and see if this looks like something you might have an interest in and just know that there are a number of other lessons that go before and after this lesson that you're going to see about creating lead magnets and then putting them straight on your website so um, check it out and then if you are interested in me creating it for your crm just chime in like write me back let me know because i'll check it out and see if it's something i can do for you and i will definitely get on that and get working for you. So anyway, I hope you're all having a great one and um, having a wonderful end of summer. Uh, it's beautiful here, finally. It's cooling off. Oh my gosh, finally, under 110, I think. <laughs> anyway, have a great day and just let me know how I can help you. And don't forget, I offer personalized coaching too, and I can jump on a Zoom with you and help get your database cleaned up and turn on campaigns for you pretty quickly. So just keep me posted. Let me know how I can help you. Have a great day. and. All right, so in this lesson, we're gonna go ahead and make your uh, downloadable type lead magnet or what we would call a white paper type uh, lead magnet. Now I call it downloadable, but you're really not gonna download it because you're gonna put it onto your website page. Um, but if you wanted to, you could just make this downloadable and turn it into whatever it is you wanna turn it into, like a PDF. Um, if I was going to do that, I would put it to, I would create a Word document out of it and then I would uh, simply save it as a PDF so you could do it that way. But I'd rather see you put it on your website, which is why I'm going to show you how to do this. Because uh, I think it's important that people get to your website as often as possible because guess what else they're going to see when they're there? They're going to see you. They're going to see houses. They're going to be able to schedule visits and all of those fun things. So that's why we want to send them there after uh, they sign up for your lead magnet. So we're going to start out by building a page, basically. So it's a page on your website, but it's not necessarily going to be seen by everybody. They're not going to see it on your menu um, because it's not um, going to be available until they sign up for it, right? Okay, so we're going to go over to your website. We're going to use click in here and we're going to go into your site, go edit your website. I've done a few versions of this already, so I'm just going to start from scratch. Um, all right, so the first thing we want to do is actually create a page. So we're going to go over here and go to page and then we're going to add a page. Let me see if I can pull this down just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Add a page. Okay, so then at this point, we have an option to pick out whatever pages we want to do. I want you to just go ahead and head all the way down toward the bottom and pick out blank. We definitely want to have one that has a header and a footer on it. And so we're going to make sure that we have one because we, when they get there, they're going to be able to do other things when they get there, right? So um, we uh, are going to go into ChatGPT and create this 10 uh, steps or 10 questions to ask your agent. Um, and that is what we're going to be creating our landing page on. So let's just call this 10 questions to ask agent. And then when you do this, it'll automatically build a, um, like a slug basically for it. You can change this if you want to make sure that you leave the header and the footer on because we want to give them an option when they go to the actual lead magnet to be able to uh, do other things when they get there. Um, you're not going to do that probably for your landing page uh, when people are signing up because it gives them too much to, to focus on. So, we're, But for this, this is the actual lead magnet. So we're fine with that. Then we just want you to go ahead and click Save. And then you're going to start your landing page building right here. 
All right, now you can see I have a header, which is here, and I can't remove that or do anything with it right now, and the footer. So I'm gonna leave these here because I do want them here. Okay, so now our decision is this. Depends on what the landing page, um, or sorry, depend, yeah, depends on what your offer is. Now in this case, we're creating a, uh, like a downloadable type item, which I keep calling a download because if it was a PDF, you could download it. It's not going to be a list of homes, in other words, or a market update or something that's pulling from the IDX. Okay. So we're going to head over to ChatGPT, as you can see. Um, I do have an upgraded version of it. Um, I would personally recommend you purchase this. This is kind of like Canva. You kind of want to pay for certain things. This is one of these things I pay for, but uh, the reason is it's just I, it can soup it up so much more. But um, basically what I'm going to do, uh, the lead magnet that we're going to focus on in uh, the future training is going to be 10 uh, questions or questions to ask your agent. Um, so what I want to do is just create one. If you don't have one, um, I can come down in here. Now, ChatGPT, I already set up a preset thing in here that's in the settings of ChatGPT that tells them who I am and what it is I do. Now, if you don't have that, you're gonna to wanna to put a prompt in here that's just gonna explain, I am a real estate agent and I focus on seller listing listings. Um, I am creating a lead magnet that offers up the top 10 things to ask your agent um, before you hire one. Please provide me a list, let's see, a list of questions, list of, provide me a list of the most important questions to ask an agent and um, when interviewing, okay? Uh, and I, I don't remember if I mentioned this in a previous training or not, but really what you wanna do is is treat ChatGPT like it's your assistant and talk to it like that and make it as clear as possible because you're gonna get a better result when you do that. And again, I mean, I, I, sometimes it's not what you want even when you do this, so you've gotta go back and kind of fine tune it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this. In the perfect world, I would spend a lot more time um, probably, uh, you know, editing this and all that. But for the purpose of this, I mean, you definitely want to make sure that you're not violating any fair housing laws and those kind of things. But um, at any rate, this is this is what I'm going to pull up. Um, and I think for today, what are the commissions and fees? That's really important. And I would also probably add something in here about, you know, what about paying a buyer's agent? But I'm just not gonna go there right now because I'm just trying to get this in. So you get where I'm going with this. Uh, now that I have it, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. Those are the results right here. And then I'm gonna head back over to my um, my page in Lofty. So I'm gonna go over to my page I'm creating. And now, because I have, it's basically a bunch of text, I've got ideally to find a block to stick in here so that I can create this, right? So um, I, I would, scroll down through here and see what, you know, the best things are. I'm going to go to content and see what all my options are, but you can go through all of these and see. Um, if I go to banner and then, you know, I'm not, the banners are basically the things that are at the top of the screen. So I'm really not going to use that. I'm also not going to use a blog right now because this is not, um, I could, I could create a blog out of this if I wanted to, but these are actually the blog um, blocks that you'll be writing the blog and this will be filling it in. So right now I'm not, I'm actually not going to create a blog, although I don't think ha having a blog would be a bad idea for this because you could send them to your blog and they'll see other blogs while they were there. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea, but for right now I'm just trying to create a simple page. So let's go down and um, use this. Now, the problem with this, if you look through all of these, none of these have like straight text in it, but that doesn't stop you from using them. So what I'm gonna have you do is, let's just pick out this block and drag it in here. And um, you're gonna click on this thing here. And what we really wanna do is just click inside of this and we're gonna go to click Rich Text Editor and we're gonna uh, just replace the entire thing. Now I'm on a Windows, I'm gonna click Control A, which will highlight everything, and I'm just gonna delete it all. 
So that's how you can clear this out. Now, certainly you can put in more pictures and things at the top, but right now I'm just not going there because I don't want to spend a lot of time. Um, and now I'm going to paste in all of these things. Now, the problem is if you look at it, it's not real clean. So probably what I would do is go over to Word first and edit this thing and clean it up and make it exactly what I would want to do. Um, so let me go ahead and do that and I'll come back. Okay, so one of the things I would probably do first is just go in here and run like a search and replace um, on what's in here. Let me slide this down a little bit so I can get to the home area. Um, up at the, actually let me slide it up. That's what I'll do. I'll slide it up so you can see it. Um, I'm going to go up to the home area right here. If yours might be already open already, but I'm going to go to home and I'm going to go to find, I'm going to go to replace because you see I've got these stars and these things because when it copies in, it just does this and it's kind of a pain in the butt. So I'll just show you quickly how to do a search and replace on this. I, I'm just going to go and depending if you're on a Mac or what you're on, but in this case, I want to get rid of every time I see these, I'm just going to not replace it with anything, replace all. And, it, and it'll replace that. And then I'm going to do it again for these um, little asterisks, two of those, replace all with nothing. Then I had 40 replacements of that. So that basically cleaned that up. Now I could also, if I wanted to, get rid of that, because I'm not in love with that thing either. Let me get rid of that hyphen. Replace all with nothing. Okay. So then... Um, you can see that the spacing is kind of funky on it. So this is the thing. I mean, you've got to do a little cleanup, but how, how much time did you save, right? And again, I haven't read all this. Please read what you're doing here. That, <laughs> just do us a favor and do that. Um, but I'm just going to say it's all great, right? I'm just trying to show you fast, easy cleanup and how to edit this so you're saving yourself some time. Stress-free, I think it's got a hyphen in it. And again, don't count on everything being right inside of ChatGPT. It's pulling from the ML, or it's pulling from MLS. You can see where my brain is. It's pulling from the internet. And that doesn't mean everything on there is going to be right, right? Um, okay, so I don't need that either. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to just going to go ahead and copy all of this. I don't think if I change in here, let me just change. I don't think this is going to pass through. I'm just going to change this and then copy it so that it has the 18 but I don't think it's going to pass through when I go back over to my editor so let's go here and replace this out okay so that definitely looks better um, and what I'm going to recommend obviously is that you go and you know save it and make sure that it looks you know appropriate for you I'm going to go scroll back down here um, I could also change up this a little bit I can make it a bold I can center this um, there's no way for me to see this went to a 14 and the other thing I did was an 18. Let me see what happens if I go a little bit bigger with this, but you're still going to want to take a look at it to see what it looks like on your computer after, you know, you've got it set up. I'm going to go ahead and underline that too, which I use control U for that. So you can do it this way. Um, I probably want to give this a little more spacing, see how this didn't quite pull in exactly um and another thing i might do is bold sometimes when you're copying and pasting all of the stuff you copy doesn't copy over the way you want it to right so you just have to come in here and clean it up but again how much time are you saving by not having to start from scratch use it as a basis uh, foundation for you when i talk about uh chat gpt right um and then i might put something in here contact uh, contact us for more uh, to schedule contact us to schedule a time to meet so we can discuss our um, our marketing uh, strategies to sell your home fast to sell your home fast and for the most money okay all right so I also could add more images and things here. If I wanted to put another image in, I could add it here, put it in here. So, but you have to have it ready and pull it in and all that. I'm just not going to mess with it right at this moment, but do, do what you need to do. It's just like every other editor. Um, the other thing I might do so that the, um, bold or these questions stand out, I might come through here and highlight all of these. Let's go ahead and do it. So it looks better. 
Okay, I did all of that. Now, the only other thing I might say is um, I, I kind of want a little paragraph here, so it doesn't just sound like, eh, you know, there we go. Here it is. Um, okay, I'm going to come back over to ChatGPT and say, um, uh, write me a short introduction paragraph for this list, which I am using as a lead magnet for my real estate business, right? To attract sellers or buyers whatever you want to use it for okay so then it's creating me something just to introduce it and again I'm gonna go back to make sure you read all this okay all right back over to my lofty got too many pages open and then uh, let's come over here and then let's paste this in. One thing about pasting, oh, this one doesn't let me do it. If you right click, sometimes it'll just automatically let me paste it, but it's not letting me do it there. Okay, so I like that. So that'll be better. Um, and I don't know what font that is. Let me just make sure it went in a 16 as well. Okay, cool. So there we go. Um, now you can, if you wanted to, go in here and, and um, if you use these headings, this is actually for SEO purposes. It tells Google and the search engines, you know, this is something of importance that you should be, you know, searching uh, throughout. So that's a whole other discussion, which we're not going to get into in this video. But if you wanted to, you could add that as a heading. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And actually, it doesn't look too bad. And I see how the spacing gets kind of wonky. It's just, you know, and, and what you want to do, go ahead and publish it because nobody is going to see this. Nobody knows it's here yet, right? So I'm going to hit preview and just see what it looks like now. So you can get a handle on, you know, is this really what I want it to look like? Well, reality is it doesn't look that great. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to go back. I have to go back out to edit. Um, so I'm going to do a couple things. Uh, click on this thing here. Go back to click edit. See how I put all these spaces in, but it's not showing up. So to get a hard return, um, I'll, and again, I don't, I'm not, I'm on a Windows, but I'm going to use um, shift and return, and um, I, that should do it. I think. Let me check it. Let me look at it again. Let me publish it, and let's look at it again just to see. Yeah, so that actually gave me my spacing. So that, gosh, sorry about that. I keep going back to that screen. Um, so that actually worked. Uh, so if you want to come back in and re-space all this, but you got to have hard spaces in order for this to work. So um, the other thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add, um, I'm going to head over here. I want to add a little something, something to the top of this. So I'm going to go over here to the blocks and see if we can add a banner, something that will actually introduce this. So if I pull this over here, I can now create a banner that just says the top 10 questions to ask your agent. And I can um, use this and let's edit that. And you'll come here and I'll, I can or cannot change this if I want to, you know, you can change this image out. Um, so that would be an option, but right here, I'm just gonna go top 10 questions to ask your real estate let's see before hiring or something like that whatever you want to call this right um, and then I don't need any of this I but I could say something like your go-to guide go to guide for all things real estate right and maybe you put your city in, in Maricopa County, which is where I live. All right. Uh, so if I wanted to, I could center this too. So let's see how that works if I center that. Okay. So this is there. I could center this. Center that. Center. And this is a heading you'll see. This is a subheading. Okay. And I could change the size of this too if I don't like it being that small, which I probably will do. Um, this one, this heading here, I might want to make a little bit bigger as well. I think headings, things like that should be in the 30 range, but you don't, I, I'm not a fan of it wrapping, but again, you want to take a look at it, um, because right, what you're seeing here is in the edit mode. Okay. 
Um, and then here, because I just did that, now the spacing is a little wonky, so I'm, I want to drop this down a little bit. I actually don't need this, it's really the truth, because I have it up at the top now, so let's just get rid of that. All right, cool. Now I'm going to, let's hit publish, let's take a look at it and see how it looks. So we're going to click here and take a look at it. And then again, if you wanted to make this smaller because you don't like that wrapping, that's probably what I would do. And then decide whether or not you want to keep this photo back here. You don't even need to use this particular block. You could use one where the photo's on the one side and the wording's on the right, which I might encourage you to do. But anyway, bottom line is now this. So what I want to do is actually get to the live version of this. So make sure that you've saved it. And then um, when you want to click on this, um, you're going to, you actually want to get to the actual live version of this thing. Let's go to the site. Uh, let's view, there we go. So if I go to the site and I go up to the very top of this, you can see now I have the URL, the very top of your screen in the address bar up there. So I have the URL. I need to copy that because that is the actual URL that's going to be needed for the um, the redirect of the landing page. When we go to create the landing page, we need to say, oh, where is it going to go? This is the actual URL that we're going to use for everything um, in, in our training when we come to making the landing pages and all of that stuff. So um, this pretty much covers what I wanted to show you for how to set this up. I think this is pretty good. And now the next training will go in and show you how to actually create a lead magnet that has um, listings in it. So you have different options when you're making your, your, uh, your lead magnets. And this is just your kind of white paper downloadable version, right? But again, we like this because if you look at the, the top, we now what else are they going to see, right? They have all these other things they can get to. They can look at homes and all of that. So um, you could also add a whole nother thing down here for a call to action, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, and there's call to action blocks in there when you're creating these. So just uh, think outside the box. Make sure you're doing everything you can to get people to try to reach out to you. Offer up as much help as you can. Um, give them other things. Like you could even say, you know, click here to get your home value. So you could add those blocks in here. So that's exactly what I'd be doing because the whole reason we're trying to get them on our website as opposed to just going to a PDF or a Google document is because they're going to see more things when they come here and hopefully get more engaged with you. I mean, ideally, if you could even create a video to put on here, that would be amazing. So again, you have blocks for all of these things when you're creating your pages over here. If you go to here and go to your blocks, you can see all the different things that you can add and they've got all these things. So like, for instance, if I wanted to add a call to action, I can go here and, and just drag this button over here or at the top or wherever you want to put it and drag it in. Of course, the, the joy of how this thing works sometimes. Well, look at that. So it just moved everything around. You just got to love this. So anyway, let me move that back up. Um, so, so I could add this call to action right here. And uh, that's probably what I would do. And then, of course, edit this out. So just make sure that if you're going to add any kind of links or buttons in here that you've got uh, smart plans lined up for these things when people fill these forms out on making sure that whatever you're asking people to sign up for, that you have your smart plans things triggered, which we're going to talk about in a future training on how to trigger these. So everything I'm going to talk about will relate to every other call to action in here as far as setting up triggers for the right campaigns, uh, and making sure that whatever your offer is, you've got something to um, follow up with them automatically with. So don't just throw this stuff in here and hope that everything's going to work automatically because there's setup to be done. Okay. And we'll go through all that as we go through um, automating your your smart plans and all of that with your um, camp with your landing pages and things. Okay. So that's it for this. Let's know, let us know if you have any more questions on that.